Hey guys, it's Shane, the building biologist. I have the pleasure today of showing you and working on this really badass 2022 Mercedes Airstream RV with pretty much every uh, possible amenity inside you could imagine for an RV. But there is one problem, and that is very high magnetic field, uh, a type of electromagnetic radiation. And actually, on some longer road trips, the owner of this vehicle has experienced some pretty severe new onset health problems. And so we're going to try and take a look at this and see what we can do to reduce the radiation that they're exposed to while driving. And so today will be part one of that process, and it involves installing a, a new type of magnetic field shielding film, which we're going to lay down in the footwell and try and block some of the radiation coming up from the battery, which is located right there, as well as some of the conductors or wires that come off of the battery and go to various places in the car. All right, so as you guys can see, this is the interior. It is incredibly plush and luxurious. Let's see if I can show you a little bit of the back. But here's the problem. Down in the driver footwell, we're going to put our three-axis gauss meter, take a look at the magnetic field readings. And you can see over 40 milligauss, which is incredibly high for an area of extended use where you're going to be for more than just a little while. Building biology guidelines would like this number to be less than one, uh, ideally closer to around 0.2 milligauss. So we've got a huge, huge increase over that here, and we're going to experiment with the shielding film now to see if we can knock this down any. All right, so here's the film itself. This is from Y Shield. It's called MCL61, and it makes use of some uh, materials like cobalt and some other fancy stuff um, and supposedly performs much better than like a moo metal would uh, against this type of magnetic field. It's quite easy to work with, extremely thin, um, sharp edges for sure, so be careful if you're working with it, but it cuts um, very easily. You can mark it up, etc. And I've got the first piece in over here. You can see kind of how it lays down, and we'll, we'll kind of trim it up and get it fine-tuned here. And then uh, on to the other side. All right, everyone, so the film is laid down. We've got the van put back together with all the mats and I'm actually pleased with this result. Got a nice little drop in the field. We're down around 35 and we were between 40 and 50 before. So that's a great first step in this van remediation with the magnetic field shielding film. And the second part of this, which will likely take out a significant portion of the remainder involves some rewiring of the um, battery wires and other wires in the van. So stay tuned for that video. Definitely subscribe and click the notification so you don't miss when that gets posted. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks.